Okay, now we are moving to second out of four stages in the life of a company or the organization. So, in this video we are going to discuss the institutional theory of organizational growth. Just keep in mind, organizational growth is that, that is the second stage about which we are talking. At first there was the birth and now we are going to grow. So let's try to uh, define what does it mean to say organizational growth. When do we grow? They say uh, that in this stage we are developing value creation skills. So developing, developing value creation, creation skills, skills. And but that's not enough. We we have to use this somehow and. Uh, uh, get some advantage from that. So this should help us to acquire more resources. So to acquire, to acquire more resources, resources. And uh, this last word, it is very important for us because under the resources you should not understand uh, maybe just money, understand also the customers. They are our purchasing power, so there are some sense of a resource for us. Okay, so in our second stage of organizational growth, we are trying to develop our value creation skills in order to acquire more resources. So now let's get to the institutional theory, and it's going to be a little tricky, so I will try to take it slowly. Uh, this theory tells us uh, that if an organization try to increase the ability to grow, uh, we have to become legitimate. So we have to we have to legitimate. So le legitimate. And this word may for now sound a little bit weird. But now I'm going to continue and try to explain it. So under this, uh, we should understand that there is some institutional environment around us. So institutional, institutional environment, environment. And now it now it will start to be uh, much more intuitive because under the institutional environment we understand the set of values and norms. So set of values and norms. And where are these norms going to be? They are going to be in the environment around us. So that if if we want to uh, be successful, I will try to draw it. Let's let's make a small drawing. Uh, this is our company, and we have got some, some let's say, few values. So this one is not very developed. This one is very highly developed. This one is not at all developed. And we can continue this way. And now uh, we will we will draw the environment around us. There are some values and norms. So maybe in this environment, um, the the value of maybe working hard, we can say. So working hard. So that the people in this state are used to work hard and that is better developed than the organization expects so that it should legitimate to what already exists. Maybe here is some, some notion of health insurance. So maybe here is health insurance. And it is, it is not very developed. So that the company should decrease its, its uh, notion or its norm of uh, health insurance policy so that we are in some sense adapting so adapting adapting so um, this this institutional theory is very tricky and it's quite hard to understand because uh, in the next video I will bring an additional one and there we are going to talk about the organizational isomorphism so organizational isomorphism isomorphism and that actually cares about the similarity so that we have got our company so company and then there is the environment or or the population so population and and then uh, there are several of these companies in the population. So you can imagine that there are several ones. This is this is our population, right? And there are several of these companies. And now we will talk about the similarities. 
similarities. And you already can maybe start to feel uh, this, this wall sense of adapting, of legitimating uh, among the companies. So if you'll be interested, watch the next video about the isomorphism.